Hi, my name's Winnie Hull. I'm a business analyst, a scrum master, a parent, a sister, a partner, and I am a transsexual woman. I am here to talk about managing my transition using an agile mindset. I want to be clear. <laughs> I want to be clear, the point of this talk is not my gender transition, but how having an agile mindset enables a successful, successful management of a complex project, like gender transition. It's difficult for individuals and organizations to make significant change. Often we're overwhelmed by the scale and complexity of the task. Think about marriage, divorce, new business directions, restructuring a company, any disruptive and life-altering change. We understand the benefits of making a change, but we're uncomfortable with the risk and uncertainty. So we make a plan, define the process, identify the unknowns. It's project management to the rescue. Typically, plans are so long range and bogged down in details, we don't finish them. Our lives get in the way. Or worse, we finish the plan only to find out the world has changed and we have to make a new plan. I was stuck in planning paralysis for quite a long time. I knew the business case of transition and the end state were absolutely worth it. Everything in between was uncertain and risky. I was overwhelmed by fear of a failed transition. In response, I made plans, ran scenarios, tried cases, quantified, qualified, to the point where the plan became the objective, not solving the problem. I lost sight of my goal in the planning process. I hit a breaking point, do something or die. I chose to do something. I committed to the idea to simply start working toward my desired end state with a minimalist plan and simply make progress toward my goal. I broke things down into short iterations and got started. My deal with myself was try something. If it worked and felt right, keep it. Otherwise, toss it and move on. I gave myself permission to fail and learn. As I worked through the phases of transition, therapy, hair removal, medical care, hormones, legal identity, working out relationships, employment, I realized that it was an ever-changing process. In my constant adaptation to change, I was unknowingly employing two concepts central to an agile man mindset, the Agile Manifesto and OODA loops, observe, orient, do, and act, decide and act, excuse me. The manifesto, widely viewed as the basis of all things agile, was created by 17 very frustrated technology professionals in 2001 in Snowbird, Utah. It was, a, it was an anarchist act to find a better way to build software. The manifesto states, we are uncovering better ways of developing software by doing it and helping others to do it. Through this work, we have come to value individuals and interactions over processes and tools working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, responding to change over following a plan. That is, while there's value of the items on the right, we value the items on the left more. The manifesto defined the process components of my gender transition. Without a support network, people getting started and getting results, working software, a lot of stakeholder dialogue, collaboration, and adjusting to change, my transition would not have succeeded. Fighter pilots use OODA loops in a decision, as a decision-making framework, enabling a constant observe, orient, decide, and act cycle. I use the same cycle in my transition because every time I changed, something else changed. Using the combination of getting started, working collaboratively, adapting to change, focusing on outcomes rather than output, I have successfully transitioned and my journey continues today. Living in project paralysis is not fun or healthy for individuals or organizations. It's much more fun and rewarding to work toward a goal iteratively, adapting to change, seeking real value, failing and learning. So the question I leave you with is what about your organization or you? What beneficial changes are being planned into oblivion? No, you know, no matter what, Progress beats no progress every time. I passionately bring an agile mindset to the things that are important to me because I know it works. Join me, whatever it is that's important to you. Adopt an agile mindset, do something, seek value, make the world better. Thank you.